Welcome to Beauty Spaces, a show that's all about you, how you look, and how you feel about yourself. I'm Kirsten Hill. And I'm Shelly Sanders. Today, we're at the Boca Raton Resort and Club, which makes the perfect setting for bringing you a filled show with tips and helpful advice that's sure to keep you on the right track to looking and feeling your best. Looking and feeling your best includes eating healthy. And today, we've got something for you that's not only delicious, but is very important in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And we also have our good friends from the Luster International Design Team. They're coming back, bringing more tips, and showing us how to keep that hairstyle looking good and appearing healthy. Oh, yeah. What do guns, bullets, and jewelry all have in common? I have no <laughs> idea. How about a line of jewelry and accessories inspired by an alter ego character, Marie Neville? And you may not know what I'm talking about, but stay tuned and see how it's making a bold statement in the fashion industry. We're also taking a look at aches and pains. What does that have to do with beauty? Well, you don't feel very beautiful when you have aches and pains now, do you? So we're taking a look at a pain remedy that takes a different approach with a different angle to the problem. What a great lineup we've got today. We have a great lineup and you don't want to miss it. See it all right here on Beauty Spaces. All right, we're going to switch it up just a little bit and bring you something a little bit more serious. That's right. We're talking about our story on aches and pains. Now, we all want to stay fit, and that means leading an active lifestyle. And sometimes our muscles and joints just don't seem to be with the program. And let's face it, you don't feel beautiful when you're in pain. And, of course, here on Beauty Spaces, we want you to feel attractive. So we found some ways to help you alleviate muscular soreness and joint pain. And to tell you more about it is Jillian Raby. many of us lead a wonderful, active Work or play, it's good for body and soul to keep moving and push the envelope. You hear the term use it or lose it, and though we remain determined to never lose it, sometimes we overdo it and end up paying the price with pain in our muscles. Sandra, who has led a physically fit life since her high school cheerleading days. On today's calendar, a morning game of tennis before taking on her daily work schedule and household tasks. She eats right and avoids the use of drugs and alcohol. But sometimes, after a long stint on the tennis courts, she can feel some mild muscular aches. At home, stretches and her yoga do help, but there are always those nagging little aches and pains that sometimes won't let up. I'll get home. Take a shower, get ready for a day at the office, and then I feel those little ow type pains. The ones that grab you between the shoulder blades, sometimes on the legs or wrists. Honestly, sometimes it can be really painful. Sandra will avoid certain painkillers knowing that long-term use may cause severe stomach bleeding or liver damage. For this reason, she prefers using patch therapy. Spaces is always interested in learning ways to help make our lives more fulfilling. As an alternative to taking pills to remedy mild to moderate aches and pains, pain relief patches offer a safer and longer lasting solution. So we have teamed up with Dr. Robin Miller, an integrative medicine doctor. We are here in her exam room today to learn a little more about over-the-counter pain relief using patch therapy. Hello, Dr. Miller. Thank you for joining us on Beauty Spaces. Hello. Thanks for having me. We know medical practitioners will recommend using a pain relief patch, such as the Salon Spa's pain relief patch that Sandra has been using and that I have here in my hand. What would you say the benefits are to using a pain relief patch? A pain relief patch can be more effective than the pills or tablets of those leading brands because it has a longer effective time from 8 to 12 hours compared to the typical maximum of only 8 hours with a pain pill. And pain sufferers may want to avoid over-the-counter oral pain medication because they can be irritating to the gut. They can cause stomach upset, stomach pain, and even stomach bleeding. And the patch works really well for joint pain. So after applied, it's great for the muscles and the joints. However, if someone's having chronic pain, they really need to see their doctor. Sure. So if somebody came to you complaining of a pain in their elbow or forearm, how would you go about applying the patch? Well, fortunately, I have Chris here who does have a pain in his elbow. So let me show you. Excellent. You take the patch, 
and you take off one tab and you place it on the elbow and then you take off the other tab and just smooth it on down. It's as easy as that. It certainly seems easy enough. Yes. And unlike oral medication, the active ingredients are absorbed into the skin and go directly to the pain in the joint or the muscle. Therefore, the chance of stomach bleeding is small. And although this is a relatively new mode of therapy in the United States, the stable and safe patch therapy has been used in Japan for quite a while. And how do you feel, Chris? I feel great. But I really like this transdermal way of getting medication into the body. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing the information today, and thank you for being with us here today on Beauty Spaces. Thank you for having me. When we are in pain, we don't feel beautiful. And often, the lingering results of pain may be listlessness or a lack of desire to do anything. By using the proper treatments for mild to moderate aches and pains in joints and muscles, we can all live a healthier and happier lifestyle. And, as Dr. Miller mentioned, if the pain is chronic or does appear to be getting worse, please consult medical attention. Please visit our website at designingspaces.tv and click into the Beauty Spaces section to view more from this portion of the show. There you will also find a link to newsalonpause.com. I'm Jillian Raby for Beauty Spaces. Well, that's all the time we have for now, so unfortunately, we've got to say goodbye. And we hope that you found something on today's show that's going to make you feel absolutely beautiful. But we're always coming back with more great topics on Beauty Spaces. But for now, thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Beauty Spaces. I'm Shelley Sanders. And I'm Kirsten Hill. We will see you right here on the next edition of Beauty Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.